the SARS Commissioner. Why is Mr. Fraser being given special treatment? He should be in a correctional service, not running one. So what I want to understand is why is he being given this special treatment and will you assure this House that he will be held accountable in this regard? The Honourable President. Thank you, House Chair and Honourable Maimani. Uh, the last time I checked, I found that you were the leader of the Democratic Alliance. You still are. Now, the Democratic Alliance, led by the inquirer, or the person who has just raised the question, has sought wages. That was a collective decision, the wisdom of people who applied their minds, and by the way, Many of the business people who were there are people who run businesses, who know what they are doing, who are eking out a living out of running their own businesses. They said, this is precisely what this country needs to do. And remember, we are not the only country in the world that has embraced a minimum wage. Many countries, actually, if you go to the ILO, the International Labor Organization, they will tell you that more and more countries around the world are embracing a national minimum wage. They are embracing it, including developing economies. You look at Brazil, you look at a number of countries in Southeast Asia, and shut up, you stay nasal and listen. You look around the world. I order. want you to shut up. Oh, I really order. do want you to honorable shut up. President. Because order. House honorable Chairs, order, honorable members continues to make a noise oh, and Chairs, is not listening. Order, honorable members. Honorable President. Honorable President, will you just take your seat, please? Why are you rising, Honorable Stevenson? Uh, House Chairperson, the Honorable President told me to shut up. <laughs> I'd like him to answer. But shut up is unparliamentary. And if you're gonna if you're gonna hurl EFF members out for telling him for deliberately the Honourable President, the rule must will, apply will to him. He must please. withdraw. I am prepared to withdraw, but I'd like Honourable Stearnhazen to listen. Because we are order, really, honorable members, order. You know you are touching a very sensitive order, issue. Order honorable members. Now he continues, honorable house chair to make a noise which Hon is honorable president there is another point of order that i want to take yes honorable member thank you honorable chairperson oh. i have been observing that there has been constant interjection by the honorable waters and the honorable stainhazen and i'm not surprised that that remark was made okay. because some of the interjections Border on the offensive. Thank you. And I on, ask no, you to rule. Honorable, honorable members, please take your no, seat. House chairperson. No, honorable Sienna, I have not recognized you. I have not recognized you. Please take your seat. Well, I'm responding. You me I'm responding. Respond. No, Thank you. I'm responding Point to the honorable. Order. Honorable members, just calm down. Point just no, no, honorable, honorable Chauke. Yes. If you read the rules, you will see that when I deal with a certain point of order, you cannot raise immediately I'm not a point of order. I've heard what the honorable member have said, and may may we may we just because we want to conclude this session in a way that allows the president to be able to respond to these points of uh, to the different questions and to when there's points of order to deal with it. But let's not do it in a way that can potentially derail the business of the House. I will appeal from all members in the House that we allow the President to respond. The President has withdrawn the remark. And I want to continue. Honourable members. Honourable members. Honourable members. Just calm down. Calm down. I'm not, honorable member, I'm not, I'm not in dialogue with you, honorable member. I've made a ruling, the honorable president has withdrawn. Honorable Stianason, why do you want to be heard again? 
Deputy Speaker, the President, if you examine the Hansard, did not withdraw. He said he would be prepared to withdraw and then went on to a conditional uh, rant. No, thank He's you, the Honourable, one who lost his Honourable Stian Nason, take You know, when seat. you're President, you need to remain calm. Honourable Stian Nason, This please. is not the NEC, this is Parliament. Honourable Stian Nason, please take your seat. And I want the Honourable President <laughs> order. I want the Honourable President now to continue. Honourable President. <laughs> Honorable Sian Hazen, I'm being very, I'm being very calm. Honorable Sian Hazen, I think you should listen. We are discussing a very serious matter that has to do with the lives of poor people, and it is your continued interjection, which included your talking nonsense, which included other expletives that I responded in the way that I did. Because your leader has asked a question which I'm seeking to, to respond to, and to the extent, and I did say, shut up, and I've withdrawn that. And uh, possibly I should have said, Mr. Sian Hazen, please keep quiet while I talk. So in future, Mr. Sian Hazen, and I'm saying it very calmly, Please keep quiet. I'm talking. <laughs> so, honourable, honourable House Chair, order, honourable members. What was what I was elucidating? Deputy uh, House Chairperson, honourable Sir Nathan, why are you rising now? Yeah, I'd like to address you in terms of Rule 85, if I may. Yes, honourable member. The president said that I'd used expletives against him. This is casting a deep aspersion on me, and I would ask him to please clarify what expletives no. I used, otherwise he must withdraw or bring a substantive motion. No, Honourable motion. Member, no. Honourable so, Sian Aysen, take your seat now, House please. Chairperson, the President accused me take your seat. of using expletives. I've please, never used an expletive please against take the your Honourable seat, Honourable Member. And he needs to toughen up. Honourable this Sian is not Aysen, the MTN Board or the, the NEC, last time, it's Parliament. It's a robust seat. environment, and he should learn to... Honourable Member, take your seat. Honourable Members, I've made an appeal to both sides of the House that okay. we allow to engage each other in a respectful manner. And please, let's do so. Order, Honourable Members. Yes, Honourable Member. Uh, you, you know, Chairperson, the Honourable President, that's why I've been the Kuruban Arrange. The Banning is own club and food with Sucha. That's why I've been so over one television. Yeah. Thank you, Honourable Member. Please take your seat. Continue, Honourable President. No, what I was what I was elucidating was that Order, Honourable Members. Honourable Maimani, with 6.6 .6 million people earning way below 20 rand an hour, we collectively business, labour community-based organizations and government were, were faced with a choice of having to say, do we leave those 6.6 .6 million people to their own fate, where they continue to earn six, uh, 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 less than 20 rand an hour, and say, market forces will continue to look after you? Uh, or do we say, we are going to peg a minimum wage at a much higher level, which would have wiped out quite a lot of uh, uh, employment. And we chose, we chose the middle course. The middle course, which we believed was a much more reasonable way of addressing the plight of 6.6 .6 million people, but at the same time ensuring that we do not destroy jobs. Now, yes, a report came through that if you implement the 20 rand an hour, a, a, an hour, yes, you would be able to wipe out 750,000 jobs. And we asked ourselves, what is the lesser of all the evils? Do we peg a minimum wage at 12,000?